So today we're going to be debunking myths and we're going to be conducting some experiments on growing strawberry plants from store-bought strawberries. Almost all store-bought strawberries are hybrids of different varieties joined under one name species, which is known as the garden strawberry or in Latin, Fragaria ananasa. Strawberry cultivars vary widely in size, color, flavor, shape, degree of fertility, season of ripening, liability to disease, and the constitution of the plant itself. On average, a strawberry has about 200 seeds on its external membrane, and I'm going to be scraping these seeds off, washing them, and sifting them through a large sifter into a bowl full of water. Since the seeds are heavy, they will simply sit to the bottom of the bowl, where I can easily separate them I'm going to be crushing around three berries and I'll have approximately 600. I'm planting them in a rich, nutritious, mixed garden soil. Here the seeds will have everything they need and I'm going to be placing the container on a sunny spot in our garden for germination. Strawberry hybrids are a result of cross-pollination between two varieties. Although the vast majority of strawberry cultivars are self-pollinating, during self-pollination, the nature it begins to reverse the hybridization back to normal due to a strong hybridization barrier in order to save the species from gene erosion and depletion from the gene pool, which can result in complete extinction. We cannot do anything about this since this is just how nature works. We can't control this. It will eventually reverse back to its original state. So, myth number one, growing strawberry plants from seeds of the hybrid strawberries, your outcome will be quite upsetting. Unfortunately, these plants from these seeds of the hybrids don't really grow as well. They lose a lot of their beneficial characteristics. The berries will be much smaller. They will lose flavor, disease resistance, and many other qualities. Nature does kind of reverse everything back to its most stable, dominating wild stage. As I mentioned before, your new strawberry will look more like a wild plant again, not as big. Planting seeds from big berries from the hybrid species, you'll get these berries, these small ones. Generally, all the hybrids should be propagated by cloning, and this is why farmers, their main propagation method of strawberry is by runners and root division, but never by seeds. So myth number two is the idea that you could grow these strawberries and you'll receive an outcome very quickly. In numerous videos online or in websites, you get promised to get results within 30 days. But that's not true. I hate to disappoint you, but in colder climates, zone four to six, where winter time breaks vegetation in the first year, the plant will need to gain biomass first, and this will take some time. Plants growing from speed specifically will bloom and produce tiny little berries during the second year of vegetation. So of course, if you live in Florida or California, you will see berries within seven to eight months. For example, here we have this one that came within 40 days and here within 90 days, approximately after the germination had occurred. So the idea that it could happen within 30 days is not true. That's a myth. So myth number three, successful sprouting. Remember when I planted around 600 seeds from the hybrid berries? As you can see here with all my hard work and knowledge and everything I managed to only get a few healthy plants. And why is this so? There is an explanation. And that is around 200 species of pests are known to attack strawberries both directly and indirectly. The amount of pesticides required for the industrial production of strawberries which is around 300 pounds in California per acre, have led to make strawberries leading the list of the Environmental Working Group's dirty dozen of pesticide and fungicide contaminated produce. Some of these compounds are known to inhibit plant growth, responsible for successful sprouting. I would say that I'm actually pretty lucky to have even gotten this many plants from store-bought strawberries. So there is actually a different species of strawberry called the alpine strawberry, the wild strawberry, or the woodland strawberry. In Latin, it is Fragaria vesca. They can be successfully grown from seeds. Of course, they will produce small, sweet, fragrant berries about multiple times during a vegetation season. If you buy these seeds from a trusted seller, you will definitely get results from them, even in a container. 
I will definitely make a video about this, so please stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Leave any comments or questions below, and don't forget to subscribe.